The handbag trends for this fall and winter season were absolutely worthy of a video. So I hope you will continue to watch this and let me know in the comments which ones were your favorites and maybe which ones you would absolutely not even try to wear. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Jamie and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new around here and are recent subscribers and have been commenting on my videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support and you have no idea how much it means to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And those of you that are new, if you wanna know anything about me, I do have a blog called Style by Jamie Lee and I have an online style subscription called Your Guide to Style that is accessible by any device and is very helpful in learning how to style outfits every single season. And all of that will be linked for you in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna talk about handbag trends today. And y'all, this is such a fun thing to talk about. Even though I am not that person that loves to go out and buy new handbags, but I do love looking at them. I do love seeing things. And if there is something that comes up in a season that I absolutely love, which there is something this season that I do that I actually might go out and buy, um, but I just love looking at them and weighing my options, seeing what's available and make recommendations to you. So these are all of my favorites. There are lots of handbag styles out there that are on trend. These were things that I saw that were different and cool and are something that would be great to add if you were in the market for a bag. So let's go ahead and talk about the first section of bags, which are quilted and puffy bags. Y'all, this is my number one choice for this season. I love an awesome quilted and even puffy bag. So you'll find quilted bags that are puffy, but you'll also find quilted bags that aren't puffy. And then you'll find puffy bags that are quilted and some that aren't quilted. So, but I wanted to put them together because the majority are kind of in the same category. So the quilted bags are basically just stitched and made quilted. Y'all know Chanel and a lot of higher handbag lines have actually done this for a really long time and now we they're on trend so we can find them at price points that are affordable to a lot more people there's some target options in here that are great and there's all kinds of different um, styles and colors that these bags come in and you should really be able to go to almost any retailer and find a quilted bag that's really cute like these and then the puffy bags are something that's new it's something that's kind of along the lines of the you know puffy jackets and you know the ski inspired styles that are out there this kind of comes from that you saw a lot of these on the runway shows and i do love the options that are available you can find them in tote bags shoulder bags um, crossbody bags and they're just kind of puffy and squishy and lots of fun and really cute so you'll see all kinds of different patterns and you'll also find some that don't have a lot of pattern that are just that material with no stitching so these are my number one and are just so incredibly cute for the season and they do come in different sizes which comes to my next love on my list which are the extra large and i'm calling these the ginormous handbags because y'all these bags these extra large bags are like nothing you've ever seen any season before so we're used to kind of larger tote bags like work bags that fit laptops and things like that these are much larger and i think the idea is when you go out and about you carry a lot of things now and you want to carry you know a change of clothes to go back to the gym or you're going to work and you have to have a mask and hand sanitizer and hand wipes and all these things so a lot of these bags and also it's just i think a trend because a lot of the clothing is becoming a little bit more oversized and baggy and i think the oversized bag will kind of go along with that look and so you're going to see lots of different styles in an oversized bag not just the tote bags y'all the one in the middle here which was also in the puffy style quilted bags this is just a shoulder bag that is so big if y'all looked at this online next to the body you would be like oh my gosh but y'all this is this is what i have my eye on because i love this bag rebecca minkoff did it has sold out in the black, but she did a style like this as well. If you like that price point, 
it's a gorgeous bag. I can link it down below for you if you want to take a look at it because there are some other colors available. But this one is actually by Mango and I love their pretty fashion forward website and I really love their stuff. So this one was part of their stuff and I think this one was under $100 or maybe just a little over. I can't remember, but y'all just remember it's so affordable. So you're seeing these really extra, extra large bags and I just think they are so much fun and so different and kind of go with our lifestyle. So I'll link all of these options in the description below that you see because there's some really cute ones. And I don't think that the picture here really shows the proportion of them as well, but they are ginormous. So the next trend is actually completely opposite of a ginormous handbag and it's a mini handbag. So you can get a very large oversized extra large ginormous handbag or you can get a mini handbag. It really depends on one what you like and two what you need and if you want something that is just fun then try the mini because I think the mini is just such a cute option and you can find them in all different styles. There's a mini camera bag, a mini shoulder bag, a mini chain bag, a mini bucket bag. So you have lots of options here and you're going to see a ton of them everywhere. And you'll also see, which is trending, these small phone cases and wallets that are just on a crossbody strap that you can throw on. So I think if you're not going with the oversized look, you're going with a more minimalistic look. And I think these are just so much fun. And you can find them in really cute colors, which I put some on here so you could see that as well. Okay, and so you've seen chain straps throughout some of the trends I've already talked about because chain straps are so popular right now. They have been trending for a few seasons. I think that they have been something very classic that has been on like high-end bags and they're always kind of there during a season, but now you're seeing a lot of it and you're seeing chains in on clothing on accessories you know with jewelry and different things like that so it's no surprise that you're going to see them on handbag straps and a lot of handbag straps so some of them are full chains some of them are half and half where you have the leather with the chain but regardless, I think they're really cute and they are actually also a part of my favorite handbag, which I talked about that was in the extra large bags and in the quilted puffy bag. So I'm loving a bag right now that has all three trends, the puffy and quilted. So I guess that's two and then the chains and then oversized. So I guess that's going to be four, four of the trends. There's a bag that I love. So let me know if you think I should get that bag. I really want it. <laughs> and I'm contemplating it, so we'll see. If I get enough, yes, get that bag, then I'll buy the bag. So now let's talk about the next trend, which is backpacks. And this is a trend that I also love because I'm gonna show you what bag I've been carrying for three or four years, which is a black um, Brahmin backpack. And I have loved that bag. It has suited me so well. It carries everything I need and I can put it on one shoulder, I can put it on both shoulders if I need to, and it has just been very functional and perfect for my lifestyle, and I love the backpacks. And they are available every season, but this season they are over the top. They are everywhere in all kinds of different styles. You can find them oversized, you can find them mini, you can find them regular sized. There's also something really cool that I have seen this season in a lot of different places, even Target, that has the, um, it's called a convertible backpack. So the straps will actually convert to a shoulder or crossbody bag. So if you don't want to carry it as a backpack, then you can carry it as a crossbody. And y'all, I think this is awesome because the more versatile a piece can be, the more use you can get out of it, the better, no matter what you pay for it. I really believe that. And I think all backpacks, if they can do this and make a backpack more functional, then I think all backpacks should be convertible backpacks. I love that idea. And I really think that um, is just a very, very fun option. So I have linked all of these below for you. So if you like any of these and they're all different price points again and different colors and you can find lots of different options out there. 
So the last two I'm going to talk about, the first one is crescent shape. Y'all, this is something very new that I've seen. They have done crescent shapes in like little bitty um, evening bags before, but not in like your everyday shoulder bag. Some of these are oversized, some of these are small, and some of them are regular size. So you can find them in all different sizes, patterns, and colors. And I just think they are so cute. I don't know how functional they are. So this might be something that won't be a splurge. It'll just be a trend that you might want to add that's cute. But I really do love them. I think they are lots of fun. And I have seen other sportier options out there that have pockets on the outside or, or little things clipped on them that you can even do it crossbody, I think. And it was a crescent bag and that was really cool. I'll link it below if I can find it again. But I loved this option and I think the Crescent bags, hopefully we'll see them continue on because they're just beginning. And I really love the kind of slouchy, really cute shape and the straps that they can do. Like they're twisting the straps and doing different things with the straps of these that are very interesting to me. So hopefully we'll continue to see some of those. I haven't seen a ton of them, but I have seen some coming out that are really, really cute. So hopefully we'll see more of those as the season goes on. And then the last one I'll talk about, which is no surprise, you've probably known about the camera bags because they have been out that Tori Birch has done this shape, which this is the shape of a camera bag. It's kind of a rectangle curved um, bag and it, it rounds on all four corners and just zips at the top. And then they are doing camera style bags that have just a leather strap, but these all have a camera strap. So that is the trend for this season is that camera strap because it is super casual, it's adjustable. So if you wanted to put it on the shoulder, you could, but if you wanted to make it a crossbody, you could. And then you're also seeing all different sizes. So the blue one in this photo is actually a mini again. So you're seeing just regular size, you're seeing larger sizes, and then you're seeing the minis, which is lots of fun. So the camera bag and the camera straps, I think are really cool. And the cool thing about the camera straps is you can find them in solid colors, you can find them in multiple colors, and you could probably change them out too if someone was selling camera straps, you could change up the look of your bag a little bit, which I think is lots of fun too. So wanted to show you some of those options. I hope you like all these choices that I picked. There are lots of other trends out there, but of course I've got to make these videos a little shorter and these were all of my favorites. And I would love to know your favorite. If you want to leave it in the comments below, the ones that you love and the ones that you don't like that you won't be wearing, I would love to hear from you. So thank you for watching this video. And if you're new around here and have not heard about my style subscription, I would love for you to check it out. It's definitely so helpful for you in learning how to style. If you really want to learn how to put your clothes together and look better every single day and feel good, then this app can help you and it's available on all devices so phone tablet computer i highly recommend yours using your computer because you will get the best use out of it the best look there but if you want to check it out please go to my website at www.yourguidetostyle.com or i will provide you a link below and thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next week